Uh, hi Anmol, how are you? Hi, I am very how good. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Awesome. <laughs> One second, I'm just adjust this. No uh, issues. Is my voice clear? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, perfect. So, first of all, uh, welcome on the show. I'm very excited to be a part of this, and hello oh, yeah. to everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I think people are just coming in. It's just started. People just started coming in. So I think in another five minutes, we should have some more people Definitely. with us. Yeah. Yeah. So Anmol, what are, what are you doing during these tough times that we all are going through? It is, um, I'm trying to follow the stay at home big tap. Absolutely. And um, household chores. <laughs> Yeah, I think I've developed muscles at this point. I think I think that's the case with everyone, actually. <laughs> you know, and uh, so you know, we take a lot of things for granted. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we take a lot of things for granted. But you know, sitting outside, you see this ha also has a good effect. You know, we sit outside, we see clean air, we see like birds that we haven't seen in long time like just flying around us and things like that. So I think everything has a pro and con. But it's also, it's also made me realize how much we take um, freedom for granted. True, true. Um, and I'm one of those people who's, uh, who's a bit of an introvert. Oh yeah, okay. So, yeah, so I used to be that terrible person who used to cancel plans. Um, okay. And, and try to be like, oh weekend, I'm not going out anywhere. Now, right. I don't think I'll ever cancel another plan again. I can't wait to meet my friends and I can't wait to go back to work, go to the studio. I'm sorry, is the, is the voice okay? Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, just a minute. A couple of people are saying the voice is not clear, but to, uh, uh, on my end, it's perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, your voice is clear from here as well. Yes. Maybe I can adjust a little bit. But if it's clear from your end, then I can... Hang on. Hang on. Is that a little better? No, it's the same. Yeah, I think it's much better. No, it's better. It is better? It's better. Okay. I think it is. Okay. Is it clear, people? Yeah, I think it's clear. It's better now. Yeah. It's better. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I think, you know, uh, one more thing is, uh, what we take granted is, I think, is also our family that we, like, you know, everyone is so busy with life uh, right. that, you know, we don't get time to spend enough time with our family. Like, I got two dogs and I think my dogs are very happy that I am chilling with them much more than what I would usually chill. So they've, they've obviously missed you a lot, clearly. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think. So yeah, that's what. And what else you tell me? Uh, so what we know about you is you are a musician, you're a composer, you're yes. an author. But I yes. think, uh, oh, my wife just messaged me saying, but your wife doesn't enjoy your company in the house or something like that. <gasps> <laughs> just message me that on the group uh, or like on the chat so yeah just coming back to the thing so yeah that's what she messaged but yeah coming back to the thing so you're a musician you're a composer yes. you're an author and so, the thing is all these lovely things that you're mentioning um yeah i haven't actually uh, it's all true it's all true I haven't made, yes. like, how do I put it? There's no clear line between my singing, my music, my writing. Okay. I feel they all seamlessly kind of blend together. Okay. okay. Um, and I genuinely believe art is the one thing that's saving me during the lockdown. Absolutely. Because uh, I think I, I find myself listening to more music, reading more books, watching more movies, yeah. and it's helping me kind of escape. Yeah, it's a saying that music is one of the best therapies. It is. Thank and God for music. Yes, <laughs> and thanks to you amazing artists for <laughs> helping us to survive and to sell entertainment. 
for doing this getting so many of you wonderful artists <laughs> on board and you know it's actually helped us to like you know get by the day because i feel at times how much netflix can you watch how much amazon prime can you watch i think you just music is the best therapy when it comes to all these things i'm I actually think. watching a lot of amazon prime and netflix yeah. what are you and- watching now Well, I tried uh, watching uh, all the new cool programs my friends keep telling me about, but I keep going back to Harry Potter. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I That's don't know amazing. why. I know. I know the books and the movies like the back of my hand. I can recite yeah. it to you. Um, yeah. And then I also love, obviously, the Friends. But there's this one show that I love called Futurama. Okay. It's a sci-fi show. Uh, it's by the creators okay. of The Simpsons. Okay. So all these shows. Yeah. yeah Somebody that's saying crazy. I want to hear Anmol Singh Nagin Nagin. I will love yeah. it. I promise. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to make Anmol sing, sing as much. Yeah. Oh. We'll make her sing as much all the favorite songs that we have of hers. Hmm. Uh so Anmol can we start with one song and then carry on with the conversation? Absolutely. Um I'll start off whatever with... whatever you want. Tumi to ho. Okay, oh, no, wait. I'll start with Alvida Phir Kyu Kaha. Okay, done. Um, it was in an Alt Balaji TV serial. And okay. it was a TV serial directed by Mr. Pradeep Sarkar. And it's a beautiful okay. song. Uh, oh, wow. Penned by um, Mr. Manoj Murtashar, sir, who is fabulous. And it was composed by Anuji. So, okay. I love how you say Anuji. <laughs> because he makes me audition for every song so in the studio yeah. he's not exactly my dad okay so i have to re- i do refer to him as anu sir even though he doesn't like it yeah but it's a very professional setup i w- i was seeing uh, your one of your indian idol performances where he was sitting in front of you and <laughs> he, he was emotional and he was i think awestruck also that video clearly shows it And in the end, yeah, he was. he goes like that, and you can't believe that is, you know. So that's amazing. So yeah, let's hear the first song. Okay. okay. Hmm. Zara se zara se adhuri. I'll just remove this because it's echo. Zara se zara se adhuri. Tum bhi. जरा से जरा से अधूरी हम भी कभी भी दिलों के मुसाफिर अब है अजनबी अजनबी मोहब्बत थे हमको हुई ना ओ किसी के हो पाए कभी ना मेरे से मेरी आँखों से तू अलविदा फिर क्यों कहा अलविदा फिर क्यों कहा ओ जरा से जरा से It's amazing. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm sure everyone's clapping. I'm sure everyone's clapping in their house, so I'll be clapping on everyone's <laughs> behalf. So here, yeah. so 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 I'm all. I want to ask you one thing, and I'm very curious about this. Okay, okay. so you come from a family that is surrounded by such accomplished musicians. Okay. Yes. Your father you. is a legend. Okay. So everyone, everyone, I think in India, but they're all men. Ask, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're the, you're starting the new trend. That's amazing. I thought okay. I would, I thought I would point that out. <laughs> Thank you. So well, but the point is noted and it's taken into account. Uh, so just coming to the thing. So your father is a legend. Every Thank kid you. in India knows who Anu Malik is. Yes. With the exactly. amount of amazing music he's made, especially if you're a '90s kid, you know, yes. so you have grown up '90s and 2000. You've grown up 
listening to Anu Malik. Okay, so yes. being surrounded by such musicians in the family, did you always think you want to be a singer, or you wanted to be something else, or you had other plans? And how did this whole thing work out? I I always wanted to know that. Okay, so I knew for a fact that I wanted to create. Okay. And it I never I think um, noticed. Um, how important everyone around me was for a very long time while growing up because my parents have raised me to be very grounded um and all i could think of was i have these stories in my head and i have music that i keep hearing all the time and i want to bring it out so what i was encouraged to do was to create and i okay. must thank my parents for letting me go down that path Okay. And allowing me to create because it brings me peace. Uh, the very fact that I can create something that I can share with people um, is is something that I find very overwhelming. I I find oh. myself truly lucky that I can do that. Um, and all you know, I'm somehow always nervous when I'm sharing something I've created with the world because it's it's a very private side of mine. When I create, it's like revealing a bit of my personality. And I always feel when people compose or write. they tell you so much about themselves if you listen carefully to what they're singing about you kind of get to understand a person's heart correct so um i always get nervous when i'm sharing my music with the world because i hope they appreciate it it's like putting a very personal side of myself out there absolutely um, but yes it it's it's something i feel very fortunate that i'm blessed to be born in such a family um and i've learned a lot from them Uh, but i myself on a very personal journey have a long long way to go and for that i would okay. like to be just cutting you short there i think there's a couple of people messaging that your voice is echoing a bit it is it is and i've got like headphones on i it's very difficult to speak as well correct um i don't know why that's happening i think it's a network lag yeah probably probably so coming back to the conversation so, so you say you're very nervous always you know putting out no not always out. no not always okay. but when i've got something new that i want to share with the world i i kind yeah. of hope that they will love it okay you know i i hope that they will understand that it comes from a very private place and every time i am releasing something into the world i've got this anticipation you know i'm i'm i've given because whatever i put into the world i give my 100% So so you know when you take whatever new you have created I'm sure you yes. take to your father and at that point you I also don't. have that thought, or you don't do that No uh, okay so <laughs> it is always so, a shock So when he hears your music or the stuff that you have created so is it like he come so what's his reaction like does he like come it's over It's very different yeah it's very different from what he normally composes So Correct. I I think and I I always get a little antsy to share things with him because okay. I feel he won't like it. Okay. Um so I'll give an example. The very first song that I wrote in English and I Correct. released it out into the world was called Let Me Come Home. Absolutely. And it wasn't a label release. Um okay. so I really didn't know what I was doing. It was formed right. completely out of scratch. Okay. And the song suddenly got picked up um and vh1 which was a channel scooped it up and started broadcasting it and it, and and it was all and it was there on the chart for a while it was there it was it came in number 4 on the charts and there was correct um but the minute they started broadcasting and thank you vh1 for that my dad caught it correct. on tv and he's like okay. when how <laughs> We shot the video in my bedroom. Okay. And he was quite astounded by the song. He could not believe that I had written it and composed it and then sung it. He said, "When did you do it?" And I didn't know you had it in you. Um but he absolutely loved the song and when he okayed it at that point it meant a lot to me and I realized how antsy I was to share something with him. So can you hear that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the thing is he's such a great musician, you know. It's yeah. scary sharing things with him. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant, you know, when I was about, when I asked you that question because when you go to him, you're not going to him as your dad. You also know at the absolutely. back of your head that he's Anumalik. 
absolutely the judge of indian idol the man who has composed and met so many talented people and is so talented yeah. himself and then you go and show him your work it's scary. correct yeah the absolute i'll make you so can we hear that song for sure uh it's called let me come home guys please check okay. it out on youtube if you like it i threw water on the sun in the evening and the moon lies in pieces by my bed side it still was in the night so i had to jar held it to the night sky and captured all the stars so i had dreams i remember there are nightmares i love there must be something wrong i am yet to be found let me come home where you are Let me come home. I'm tired of being alone. Let me come. <laughs> That's amazing. You know, are you like the comments were like, "Wow, amazing, heart <laughs> love struck." Yeah, I love so you guys. <laughs> so all of those. So so you know. so now coming back to this whole thing you know mm-hmm. so uh, so tell us something about you because you know uh, so when i was reading about you and all and then i got to know so you have sung songs like nagin talli and all these songs but you yes. also <laughs> sung bini number 1 oh my god so oh i think bini number and that was what 1997 or something like yeah you? i think yeah i was i don't even remember i was a warm <laughs> i i barely could stand um and they they had to like put a chair for me to hold on to because i couldn't balance myself i was that young i think you're talking so about mujhe maaf karna om sahi na सलमान खान एंड करिश्मा कपूर इन द मूवी एंड आई लाइक वाउ आई गेट टू सिंग मूवी इट वॉज अल फॉर मी But yeah, that was my debut. I, I sang a lot as a child, as a child artist. Yeah, of course, of course. I dubbed a lot. Um, background scores. I was in the choir. A lot of movies have my oohs and ahs in the background. Um, I sang in Mela. I sang in Badal. Correct. Uh, I remember. I think the song in Badal was. Uh, आंखों के रास्ते दिल में उतर के ले गई तेरी जान एंड आई थिंक बाद मेला वर्स सात जुबे इस दुनिया में आई साउंड लाइक अ चाइल्ड ओल्ड व्हेन आई हियर इट बिकॉज़ आई वाज अ चाइल्ड ऑफ कोर्स इट वाज लाइक डोंकीज योर बैक but it was a great experience i whenever i had time after school um it wasn't just for my dad there were for a lot of other music directors i used to do a lot of background singing background vocals those were my part time jobs um and it helped build that confidence as a singer yeah you know? so did that shape you into what you have achieved or what you doing today that did that i don't that think like i achieved anything? anything yet i i'm still trying to figure out what the word achieve actually means for me um, i just want to keep doing more work um but yes it did because it helped me um build a how do you put it like a variety i could do a variety of songs so it it's like doing a talli and a nagin correct but also doing a alvida phir kyu kaha tum hi to which are which are very soft jazzy songs but also doing an old school girl which was in tanu ed's manu correct which is a proper old school jazz song so i could cover a whole range and i think that's the most important lesson i could take away so, so obviously 
god's gift your hard work your talented so you can do a lot of different genres of music just a quick question what is your yes. favorite genre of music like what is the kind of music you like doing like is it the I fun love, one i love all kinds of songs honestly i when i'm in the mood to party then i love my chandni but i i prefer like how do i put it um my all time favorite artist is actually nora jones so uh so my whole goal has been to kind of emulate her soft voice and uh, jazz is my preferred zone like my preferred genre of music like so, the whole so my heart is drenched in wine you be on Forever. So all those little multis are because I like to listen to other singers and kind of emulate what you know they're doing. Kind of seeps so, into the soul. So when Tully came your way and you sang yeah. Tully, of course you yeah. don't you you don't know a fate of a song. You know how what it's going to do. But I didn't. What was your what was your reaction when everyone went crazy here in calcutta in night clubs we still play that song from time to time i you know i in the middle for my shows i had stopped putting it in my set list and people started demanding it when i was on stage Good. and i realized i have yeah. to put the song people still remember the song um correct again i have to thank rangita nandi for this one okay. because i i i dubbed the song um so they could use it for the shoot correct uh because the shoot was upon them and they wanted to um have like a female voice just put there for the actress to lip sync malika sherawat correct and correct. uh nobody told me what tally means okay. so i don't drink okay so i don't know what tally means okay. which which is why there's a little accent on the word tally because it's okay. not a word that i normally use um and i was 15 So I finished But I think song. that I was sorry to cut you there but I think that accent helped the song to be where it <laughs> is. I think it made it more you know peppy and I think people Oh how I love that, that song. Oh Can my god. Can you have that song for everyone? Absolutely. Listen that song made me so happy because I sang it and I went and I love your question that you never really know the life of a song. And then it came out. Correct. And suddenly it was it, it was everywhere. And I never Correct. expected it to blow up the way it did. So I'm going to Correct. sing it for you right here. Yes, please. Okay. Taka 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 na be, maga 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 na be. Taka 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 na be, maga 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 na be. Taka taka dil thad ka be, taka taka hon thad pa be. Patiyala be gal ka ki, te te kali vichaki. Subu 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 the house ka ka ki. It's amazing, 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 amazing. So yeah, so we went to soft songs too. Think, yeah, and I think you should see the comments. Every it's like wow and stuff like that. So I think you already uplifted the mood for everyone right there. <laughs> Thank so, you. So tell me something. So tell me something. So you are a classically trained singer. Uh, you. have gone to trinity college in london yeah. to to learn your piano if i'm not wrong correct i'm actually also i'm not classically trained uh, okay i whatever i've learned is through sheer observation uh, okay. by okay. being in the background at recordings uh, watching other singers listening to a lot of music correct i i can't even tell you i've probably heard every single song on this planet regardless oh, just order. just cutting you short there so yeah. i own a club here called what's in the name and someone from there has already commented one of okay. someone who's a regular there bhaiya we want her live show in what's in the name oh. are you going to do it for us yeah when tell me so once, once the quarantine is up and everything I'm is up game. and running 
you are coming to kolkata for a live show i would love to guys please dm me i would love to come to cal for a show i love cal by the way i've come there once for a show and i missed it already and yeah. i ate too many desserts there <laughs> nobody yeah, does me like you guys thank you so much we'll make you have more sweets when you come here Yes. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So just coming back to our conversation. So no. So I did go to London. Observation. Yes, I have. I feel that's like Correct. the best teacher. Um, mm-hmm. just hanging around the background and looking at people who are way more talented than you, and just learning from them. Um, and also, I went to London. I studied piano, but I studied creative writing at the University of Warwick. Okay. So, which is how I can release the book that I'm releasing next month. Uh, it's wow. with Harper Collins, and it's called okay. Three Impossible Wishes. Hmm. Okay, so guys, please. If, and oh, by the way, the book is filled with romance, lots of laughter, and lots of food. So you guys have to go and check it out. And it's somebody releasing said, next month. Yes, somebody said they're a dessert lover. You know what? That's my biggest problem. I I I can leave everything, but if you keep sweets in front of me, gone, just gone. So someone's also have written Akshay Deshmukh zero and four. We hmm. heard you read a lot. Is it I true? I do. I'm a very avid reader. One of my um, hobbies is actually a huge passion of mine. I love reading. um and i i have a lot of books to recommend so if you guys don't know what to read during the lockdown let me know just dm me i'll give you what are you reading right now what i'm reading right now is persepolis okay. um by margin satrapi it's a, it's a um, graphic novel and it's something i i'm rereading actually it's a great book about her childhood in iran okay fabulous book so definitely highly recommend it Amazing. So someone's message: We will, you will get a hundred types of spread of dessert when you come to Calcutta. Along, you'll do a live show, and after that, you can sign Done. your book for all of us. This sounds like the best plan I've heard in a long, long time. Please make it happen. Seven Entertainment, Siddharth Tori, can you please make it happen? Sid, so, <laughs> let's do it. So that is one. So. I have one song. I'm a big fan of that song. Can I okay. ask you, Ek Mulakat? Yeah. Oh my I God, love that that's, that's been like no two I'm lines. Two in, lines. Yeah, yeah, I'm not singing major. I love it too. Um, oh my gosh! Wait, how, how does it go? I remember the hook. Oh, do you remember the opening line? What is? I'm very bad at lyrics. What's happening to me? Uh, all I remember is ek mula ka to I love that the hook is stuck yeah. in my head okay wait ek mula ka to zaruri hai zaruri jeene ke liye ha mula ka to zaruri hai zaruri Jeene ke liye. That reminds me. Should I sing Jia Na Jai for you? Yes. It's my please, first please. Hindi song that I ever wrote. Please. Lyrics and, and all. And people from Assam and people from Bangladesh are saying hi to you. Hi, 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 hi. Look, I love Bangladesh and Assam, and I'll tell you why. Very, very personal reason. When I released Let Me Come Home, I had no idea what would happen to the song. and it was assam and bangladesh where the song was picked up first my first few positive replies and responses came from there and the little artist in me the one who was just like is this going to work it was because of bangladesh and assam i got the confidence so thank you guys i love 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 you guys okay so i'll sing jiana jai it's the very first hindi song that i wrote and composed and it was released through z music तुम पे दिल हार गई ये जुदाई तेरी मार गई बात ये रह गई कहने से कि तुम बिन जिया न जिया न जिया न जाए जिया न जिया न जिया न जाए 
Jiyana 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 Jai Jiyana 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 Jai Aha Aha Amazing 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 so uh quickly i'll uh, tell you this uh yeah. so mr aditya divedi says hi from patna hi and uh, and pail from bangladesh says hi pail so hi aditya yeah. hi pail so you tell me about your time in uk about your time in trinity college about your time in warwick stuff like that i Which i know actually... you there which year was i there it's so i not only went to warwick i even went to usc okay um, it was like a whole 5 to 6 year uh, phase of my life where i spent a lot of time learning a lot of it was i wouldn't have been allowed to go if it weren't for scholarships very honestly Correct. because these courses are not cheap Correct. um and i did a bunch of part time jobs as well uh, wow so... <laughs> we have to talk about that also We yeah know you know the like it wasn't the mcdonald's jobs that i got it was more like working in the admin departments i was working on tv crew um anything oh, wow. everything that could help me um stitch up some spending money because it's hard living out of your country and Correct. spending in dollars and pounds is just very hard everything was accounted for um but i'm thankful i got the chance to do it because it opened up my mind to the entire world um the kind of writing that i do um as an author stems a lot from what i saw when i was at university and what i read um and my music also i think is a weird hybrid of english and indian like desi pan is this weird um mixture and um i think it shows if you listen to my song isn't that why it came out quite recently with universal music and um if you listen to that song it's a little indian yet a little english so we i can sing a few lines if you don't mind please of course we want to hear as much yeah. as you want to sing okay um this one's called isn't that why there are stars on the ground going nowhere in a rush but the stars in the sky they feel sorry for us My list is full, and then I start over the next day. On and on I go in my elaborate cage. Isn't that why we fall in love? To open up a universe. Smile and say you're the one I trust. Isn't that a worthy fault in love? Amazing, 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 <laughs> amazing, amazing on that. Thank you. And uh, there's a lot of love trucks for that. So thank you, Dudu, hey. for that song. So, so which year were you there? Like, I'm not like which year, like from what year to what must year were you been, there abroad? I'm very bad with all this. Must have started maybe what 2010 or something, and okay, went on for a good five years, I suppose. Maybe yeah, that is the same that I also went to UK for my undergrad as well. And really, uh, where were you? Yeah, yeah, I was in Swansea University next to Cardiff in Wales. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god Cardiff yeah. is where they shoot Doctor Who which is a very favorite serial of mine yeah. so Of course of course I've been to Cardiff So Cardiff, Cardiff was a 20 minutes train ride for us <laughs> Oh I'm very jealous listen Um 15 minute bus ride for me was Stratford upon Avon which is where Shakespeare was born Absolutely And so that was that, amazing for you Oh my god listen as an author that's a big deal <laughs> I spent so Absolutely. much time at Stratford Correct It was. It was a dream. So, it is, it's like time has stood still. There. So, Pile from Bangladesh is saying you look like a doll. <gasps> oh my god! I think she's a big fan. <laughs> Pile, I love you. Thank you. I don't think I look like a doll. And, so. <laughs> and Satyajit DJ says, "OMG, simply superb singing." Thank you. Oh my god! You guys are so kind. Thank you. And Amisha says, "Wow." Oh man listen this is really making my day like being in a lockdown and still being able to connect with you guys it's it's so it's so i can't tell you my heart is full 
so so tell me what your what are your hobbies apart from singing what do you like to do i love reading as you know correct <laughs> I also like to try baking and cooking. Wow. Um I'm not a bad cook, but it's very it's a lottery. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's horrible. But I made bread the other day and it turned out very good. Oh yeah. Proud. Proud because bread is very difficult. Yeah. But no, I I have very few hobbies in life uh and they have a lot to do with what I love creating. I uh, love writing. I love reading. I love singing and I'm always nearly on at my writing desk with my pen and paper. So, I'm a very simple person. There's not much that I like to do and I have very few friends, very few clothes, very few likes and very chill. That's just how I am. So do, you, so do you like to party or are you like more the staying home and house party? Listen, you chill? know I have this deep desire that one day I will really enjoy partying. Okay. and i make great plans and i go to a club and then within 5 minutes i'm just like <laughs> i i made a mistake why am i here so i don't know why but my sister ada is the exact opposite so she likes to party and go out she and i'm her best friend by the way so okay. she's just like why god why has god given me a best friend who hates doing things i like doing <laughs> Uh so Neetu Rathor says hello. Hi. Uh, Does anyone uh, have any questions said, for me? She says you look like Ananya Pandey. Uh, I think she's very pretty. So that's uh, a huge compliment for me. Yeah, and uh, Aryan Ahmed 105 says I'm a big fan of you. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my gosh. It always surprises me when um people say that because I listen I spend half the time buried in my piano and my paper so I really don't know what's going on outside and then I have people who give me such kind wishes so thank you It really really helps me create more stuff and pile is asking when you will will you come to bangladesh listen you guys call me I'll come anytime I really want to travel contact seven entertainment seven entertainment will get you get out to bangladesh for you okay can listen, get we, me can, so everyone wants to hear a uh, nagin Let's do. Can we hear Nagin? Of course. <laughs> okay. Shagna di raat raat, sajna ji hot hot. Shagna di raat raat, sajna ji hot hot. Main na vich sajna di lai jaba short short. Main wale chawa, hot na awa. Main wale chawa, hot na awa. थैंक यू सो मच सत्यजीत you satyajit has written nagin and she just played nagin i just sang, sang nagin. you know a yeah. huge props to um three people for the song one is uh, kushika lulla ji for giving me the chance to sing it jaydev sir who composed it beautifully and kumar sir who wrote the lyrics and he really took me through the punjabi pronunciations so he was very patient with me and because of these three people the song came together it was just Amazing! This is, this, is a, this is another song which just went crazy. It blew up. You know, just, yeah, yeah, it just blew up, and just like you're saying, even today in clubs across the country, they we still play these songs. Yeah. Okay. Do I get DMs for um? There was a song in Welcome Back which I sang called Time Lagai Time. Correct. We're gonna listen like to that people, next. Okay, people slide into my DMs using that. It's a little weird sometimes, but it's fun. Um, time lagai kai ko, har bancha meri bai ko. Shadi Mumbai me karenge honeymoon do bai ko. Isni jaldi kai ko, har banu me teri bai ko. Tere baare me pata na hai abhi to bai ko. It was a cute song. I really liked it. Yeah, yeah, it was a fun song. Yeah, of course. So we are gonna have a question. Like a rapid fire kind of a session. 
Okay, let's do it. Uh, are, you, are you game for that? I'm absolutely down for it. Okay, so what is your favorite current song? Um, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. I, I don't and know why I've been listening to it so much. Uh, have you heard it? Can you can you sing a couple of lines yeah. for us? Um, of sorry about the lyrics, huh? but it's alright. Um, since it is cold and empty, no one's around to judge me. I can see clearly when you're gone. Oh, oh. When I said, oh, I'm blind as I the light. No, I can't sleep until I feel your touch. I said, oh, I'm blind by the light. I'm drowning in the night, but when I'm black, you're the one that I trust. Hey. I've been listening to this so much. <laughs> hey, somebody, are you, somebody has any... actually remembered. Oh my God. Yeah, I love old school that girl, song. please. Yeah. Oh, what a composition! I think that was Krishna. Can we had that song and for Rajendra got... yeah. Varma. For sure. Um. I might be sentimental, but don't get so judgmental. So what if I'm an old school girl? I'm an old school girl. I'm an old school girl. Darling, we're from different time zones. I still can call you anytime on my telephone. Oh, but I really long for your handwritten letters. You may smile and say, but my baby goes, days are gone. I like the smell of your palm and your ink. One letter from you just makes me love your everything. All the sweet nothings you don't write But in your lines my heart can hear them Every single time I might be sentimental The song has so many nuances So it was just very really well composed Yeah, so just going back to our rapid fire yes, All sorry. time favorite musician or singer? Nora Jones uh, I mean number one would always be Anuji but uh, Nora Jones and this very, um, this is a band called Third Eye Blind, okay? And I've loved them since I was 10. So they've greatly influenced my chord progressions and um, very good band, very, very good band. Uh, favorite collaboration so far? Uh, this is a very difficult question, which has no answer because every time I've worked with someone, and I'm not being diplomatic, it's been a new learned, experience. It has. I've learned so much from them. Um, a, I've always been thankful that they've chosen me and trusted me with their creation, and um, I've learned a lot from them. And it's always been something special. It's always resulted in something special. So, um, like even even like most recently, I worked with Ryan who's from London, on my song, um, Isn't That Why? Uh, and that whole experience of working with Ryan, with the Mr. Devrat Sanyal from Universal, um, and it's just the entire team, everything coming together. So it was great. Amazing. Uh, dream collaboration? Oh, <laughs> well, it's actually Nora Jones. I I've, harbored that. That, I, I've harbored that wish for the minute I started playing the piano, to be honest. Uh, but I mean, if I had a chance and I could think of an impossible wish, like my title of my book, Three Impossible Wishes, <laughs> plug in, um, then probably the weekend. Oh my God, can you imagine? And uh, the last question, Bollywood Celebrity Crush. Listen, can I please tell you my all-time celebrity crush and he's not from Bollywood. Okay. Uh, we we come back loyal. to Bollywood first. Sorry? No, I have no other crush. I'm very loyal. Okay. I have okay. one crush. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's Leonardo DiCaprio when I first saw him in Titanic. Because okay. I remember I was eating a raspberry dolly and I cried okay. so much. It was the first time I didn't finish my ice cream. And that ice cream melted down my hand. And it's been a long love affair. I love him. There is no other crush. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. 
So you must have been very happy when he finally won the Oscar. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> the poor guy, but he's so extremely talented and very good looking. Oh my God! So yeah, and very loyal. So we got like last five six minutes. So okay. I'll ask you like a couple of quickly couple of questions. So so do you do you play poker at all? No, my friends have tried to get me into poker. Uh, the I'm not good at it at all. Yeah, you should you know you should check out the Poker Bazi app. I think that would help. Me. Yeah, and you should learn. You I think it'll be a little more helpful. Yeah, it would definitely. I think, I think even I am very bad at poker, so I think we should all try that. So by Diwali, we all will be ready by using oh the poker bazi app. Listen, I don't think I want to gamble. I, I, I'm not someone who's into gambling, but okay, <laughs> correct. So, uh, last few questions. One thing is, you know, um, there is a lot of talented people around. okay who are doing a lot of good music trying to do a lot of good music right. and bollywood right. is a very difficult place to get a break or mm-hmm. even to be you know so what is your suggestion or how what do you suggest to newcomers who are coming into bollywood so that's a question i don't know if i'm in a position to answer okay because i don't think i'm how do you, i still feel i'm a newcomer correct okay so perhaps the advice i would probably give is everybody has that one hunger to work correct and i think that passion for working and for what i do is what keeps me going and correct. as if if i had to advise someone i'd just say please don't lose out on that passion don't lose out on that hunger and whatever you do give your 100% um, correct Like I said, I don't think I've achieved anything. I feel constantly that I'm always restarting and reinventing. Um, so I'm probably a newcomer as well, and I probably need lots of advice and good wishes and blessings. <laughs> okay, so we got like last three, four minutes. Can you hear like a couple of songs that whatever you want to sing for um, everyone? Actually, someone says Amisha says big fan of Anu Malik. Do you know Garam Chai ki Pyali song? I do, of course I do. Oh, uh, but let me see. Yeah, let me... Why don't I sing one of his compositions, which I sang? Done, done. Okay, it's called Tumhi Toh. Okay. You you, you have to sing a couple of songs. You're not letting you go before that. Okay, how many more songs? But I love singing, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. Um. आप आ गए हो दिल ये कह रहा है काश अब खत्म हो ही सुनो ओ कब से दिल का कमरा खाली पड़ा है लाके दिल में उनसे ये कहो तुम ही हो हो ओ धूप की चमक तुम ही तो हो रंगों की धनक तुम ही तो हो ये हसीन वक्त तुम ही तो हो आईने का अक्स तुम ही तो हो रे बाबा आप आ गए हो तो दिल ये कह रहा है तलाश अब खत्म हो सुनो ओ कब से दिल का कमरा खाली पड़ा है बुला के दिल में उनसे ये कहो तुम ही तो हो uh this the lyrics are so pretty of the song they were written by sanal kirkire ji um of course so yeah that's one song so uh, you know, says it's a beautiful song amisha says you're adorable <laughs> aryan says i'm a big fan of anmol male uh, oh my god you guys are making me blush says lot of he sends couple of hearts actually and <laughs> amisha says wish you all the success and i am sharuk m says love your voice Thank you. You know, if you wanted me to sing something of my dad's, which he has sung, correct. Um, I actually really like "Dekho Barish Ho Rahi Hai." Okay, done. Let's. Sing. I think it's a very sweet composition and iconic. <laughs> of course. Okay. Um. Dekho Barish Ho Rahi Hai. Dekho na, dekho na. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. मेरा दिल रो रहा है 
Big Hona, Big Hona, it's painting, it's painting, it's painting. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Seven Entertainment. Precious time and oh, thoroughly. Right. No, no, you've entertained us and that's an amazing voice. Thank you so Thank much. You. All the best for the future. Thank Already, you. we'll pick up the phone, call Siddha Todia, fix up a gig <laughs> in Calcutta. <laughs> And we'll be waiting with all the mishtis for you. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you everyone who has watched this and heard me sing today. And thank you very much for being a part of this. And lots of love to Seven Entertainment as well for letting me do this. So thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you Anmol. Thank and you. thank you Seven Entertainment, Siddharth Todian and the entire team, Ambrish, and Gagan. Thank you Rajni for being so amazing. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon in Kolkata. Absolutely. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.